Hey, what's up coin hunters and today marks the day we finally get our first two pound coin released into the universe um, Only in packaging though and you have to buy it for more than two pounds, but it's the HG Wells um, Controversial in some people's eyes uh, coin and I think everyone knows why by now um, I love this coin I've got it in the year pack um, I'm going to be ordering one for my son. He wants the coin club version because he's going to pop it out and stick it in a capsule. Um, but yeah, it is a lovely coin, but it's wrong. It's wrong. It's tripod, not quad pod. <laughs> but it's a bit like calling a quad bike a, mo a normal motorbike, you know. Um, but yeah, it's still a nice coin. Um, let's have a look and see what Royal Mint are offering on it. So we're not going to get no coloured version. Um, don't think they do that with £2 coins. Uh, we're going to get the regular uh, BU pack. Now that one will be an unlimited amount that will be produced throughout the year. Um, basically, as long as it's being demanded, it's going to be made, basically. Um, then we've got the regular silver proof. Um, Going to be limited edition to 1,575. So quite a low number really. I'm um, not going to be surprised if that sells out. Um, the Pied Fort. Hopefully I got that right. Um, it's going to be limited edition to 675. And there's nothing saying in stock. So that could have been sold out already. Then we have our gold proof, which is limited edition to 175 with limited stock. So if you're into your gold proofs and you haven't ordered it yet, I would be ordering it as soon as possible because once that's gone, that's gone. And we will never see it again until someone on eBay probably puts it up for about £10,000. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> um, they're the four different versions of it obviously coin club and westminster are doing their thing so we'll have a look afterwards if you keep hearing me cough and going <clears throat> that's because it's the day after the euro uh 2020 ish uh final and my throat is still a bit sore so yeah that's why you might hear me cough a little bit or sound a bit weird in this video i'm not ill it's just I was shouting at the telly box. So first of all, we're going to have a look at the regular one. So, yeah, like I said, unlimited um, amount being produced for the rest of the year. As long as it's in demand, it will be made practically. So what's controversial about this, if you don't know, we count the legs. So one, two, three, four. There's one going behind the invisible man there. Um, HG Wells always said it was a tripod in all the movies and everything except the one that's on Fox, the television show that's done slightly different um, at the moment. Uh, same kind of story but different. It's like done in a different universe basically uh, than this one. Um, <clears throat> there is three legs on each tripod but for some reason the Royal Mint decided four legs are better than three. Well, obviously they are, but for their coin, um, the designer has come out and said he used artistic license on it. And with a classic like this, artistic license should never have been used, in my opinion, to be honest. If the original story says try, you don't add a fourth. That's the way I'm saying it, and if the Royal Mint are watching this, you're messed up on this one. Um, some people also complained about the hat on the Invisible Man. I think it was, it's the wrong hat. But when I looked up um, different ver like different things on the Invisible Man, there's it's basically been reworked so many times. As long as the hat is floating in here, and you can see inside the collar, to me that doesn't really matter um you've got the numbers from the clock on the elizabeth tower big ben um 
around the outside, which is a nice little touch. Obviously, 2021 and HG rails, HG wells, not wells, around the bottom. And then we've got the um, thingy, what's it called? Initials, there we go, of the designer of this side of the coin. So I, I'm not saying I don't like it, it's just that too many legs. So let's see the side of grandma on, obviously because the date is on the other side, we won't get a date on this side. Um, let's have a look at the packaging. So, they've, <laughs> they've put three, what is going on? It has three legs inside the packaging. Are you kidding me? No artistic license inside the packaging. Oh my days. This is like one of my favorite books of all time. I've read the book. I've seen every movie. I've seen every variant of the TV show. I have listened to <laughs> the audio book so many times in my old workplace when I'm just walking around mind like mind numb I would just listen to this as my audiobook and oh my god this to me is like the best book ever written um the original movie of this is actually my favorite movie um <coughs> but they've put four legs on the coin and three legs in the packaging are you kidding me but yeah, let's let's carry on. This Royal Mint, what have you done? I and then you've got some others there. Uh, the time machine. That'd be actually pretty cool. They should have done it like a free coin set. One with the time machine, one with um, War of the Worlds, and one with the Invisible Man. Now that would have been a set that I would have collected. Um, let's have a look at the other side. So you got all the cogs. That, that that's that's spooky. That's that's a spooky picture, but I love it. And then we got some more information there. But come on, Royal Mint, seriously, you've put the tripods in inside the packaging, but the coin has four legs. And it does look if you look at the design on the top of the tripod there, you can see like the two windows that look like eyes at the top. And then there's the same. Oh my god, this is chest. All right, let's let's move on. So this is the silver proof. So as always with the silver proofs, you're gonna get in your fancy black box uh, with your certificate, and it will have your number in that little white area there. But yeah. I'm not saying bad about the design of the coin, <clears throat> but obviously there has been mistakes made in it. There's the you can see the difference there between the minting on the proof and the silver proof. Silver proof would always look better. Um, let's go. Let's see the silver proof of Grandma. There we go, and the packaging for this one on the outer bit, you've got the tripods <laughs> down the side, and you've got like the clock on the opposite side. And you do have the hat, and you can just about see the collar and stuff of the Invisible Man there. Pretty cool, really. And then the Pite Ford, is that how you pon oh, pronounce it? Um, again, limited edition, you get the same packaging as the other silver proof but these ones are double thickness of the other silver proof so basically you're getting double the amount of silver there then there's the coin you can see on the side there how much thicker it is there's grandma again and then the packaging on the other one on this one the only thing that will be different is there where it will say Pied Fort coin. Then we have the same design there. 
So let's have a look at our gold proof. I haven't even looked close up on the gold proof yet. Um, so as always, we get you get a different type of casing. You get the more mahogany style casing on that one. Is it mahogany, cherry, something like that? You got your certificate there. So this is more hard wood, even though I can see there's, it, no, no, it's just a reflection. I thought there was a bit of a chip on that corner there. <clears throat> then we have our gold proof one. Looks cool. Looks cool indeed. What what gold are they using? What what how what the purity? It says pure metal type gold. What type of gold is it? Uh, I, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, twenty two karat gold. There we go. It's up here instead of down there. So it's supposed to be twenty two karat gold, which is very nice indeed. There's the queen or grandma in gold. And then our packaging for that one is exactly the same as the silver proofs, but obviously it's going to say gold proof coin. And then there's the front. So obviously we do have other options when buying this coin. We also have Westminster, which I am banned from buying from because, yeah, stuff. <laughs> and um, we got Coin Club. Uh, I've already put their version in the basket. I'm just putting like basket and then once I've got a few coins in there, then I'll order it. Coin Club does sometimes take a little bit longer than everyone else to post out, but if you like it, it's worth the wait. So Westminster Collection, you've got your silver proof, your regular one, that will be in the blue card. Um, that will cost you 8.99. For the blue carded one um then you've got your pipe fold um uh, your regular um thingy there what's it called your regular bu then westminster collection like to give you what is commonly known as um tat so for te for one pound more than the official you can get their printed version which I think you, is it going to open up? I haven't even looked at this. Does it open up or is it just a? It's um just it does open up. It's like a card. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so for one pound more than the official version, and I'm saying nothing about this, but I think this is nonsense. Uh, you get that a display card. Yeah. Um. To be honest, I would rather just use the um, oil if I'm going to display it, which I don't. I just stick them on a shelf. Um, I would rather have the actual um, Royal Mint one. There's the blue carded one. So it's basically, you'll get it like that for $8.99. On a blue card if you're new to coin collecting, but there is other options, no nonsense options where, oh, let's get out of there. Um, you've got the coin club. Now I'm not gonna show you the prices yet. Um, so coin club are doing the silver proofs and the regular BU, but they also do their own carded BU. And when it comes to Westminster collection, they. They do a ballot where they claim to give coins away for face value. Now, for them to do that, they've hiked up the price of their um, packaging. So technically, you might get drawn in the face value ballot for one coin in that year. But then you've technically paid for it. <laughs> because they've hiked up the prices um, for the actual coins themselves. So each coin, I think the 50 pences went up by 150 um, to four pounds 50 when this started. And I know these went up as well. But the coin club, if you don't mind waiting just a little bit longer, you get it for 499 instead of the 899. And that is a big difference. You know, that's four pounds difference. Um, I 
think the postage with Coin Club is about three pounds, and uh, similar to Westminster Collection. So you do actually save a little bit of money there if you want to just pop it out and stick it in a capsule. So guys, what do you think of this coin? Apart from it having four legs when it's called a tripod, um, I love it. I love the coin. I love the book. I love the movies. Even the 2005 Tom Cruise one because people were getting like vaporized and turned to dust by the aliens. Um, I just, you know, um, what is it? Last year was it? BBC did a sh mini series set in the 1900s as well. That was amazing. Fox slash Disney, Disney now everything's moving over to Disney Plus. Um, did their version where they got them like dog type thingies and then I haven't seen season two yet. I'm waiting for it to come on Disney Plus. Um, should be coming out soon actually. Um, yeah, so what do you think of it? Do you like it? Are you gonna be ordering it? Do you already have it in the year set? Because a lot of us bought the year sets. So you might not wanna buy it like this if you've got the coin. So guys, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. And hopefully my voice didn't sound too bad after screaming at the telly box last night for um, a couple of hours and um, saying not very nice things um, to the penalty scorers about their techniques. I don't know why they were dancing. Some of them are running on the spot. Just run and kick the ball. You know, it doesn't matter about your age, you're a professional. But yeah, that's a different thing. <laughs> but at the end of the day, this video is about this. But yeah, I love it. Um, I already have one in the year set, so I won't be buying any one of these. I will be buying the um, Coin Club one for my son because he uh, wants to stick them in capsules. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. So take care and happy coin hunting. Goodbye.